Another game dev trick. Do you have doors in your game? Then the worst way to do your door state is doing booleans. And then you got to check if the door is open, door is closed, and then you got to set all these booleans and it becomes a nightmare and it's very unscalable because then if you have keys involved, then you got to add even more booleans. And if you have different ways for your door to be locked, like through keys or it's barricaded and so on, this whole nesting will become a nightmare. So the better way to do that is to delete all these booleans and then use a variable called gameplay tag container. When you create a gameplay tag container, you can go in here and manage it and add a new tag list. Now think of this as like a container. So let's just say you have a spell system in your game. You can have spells, you can have dark magic, you can have heals. And then within those categories, you can have different types of heals that do different types of things. Okay, so I added an interactables container, door, and then my door has three different states. It has closed, locked, and open. So the cool thing about these containers is you can do a switch node on this. So instead of doing an if statement for each specific category, you can just do the code directly off of this. So when the door open door is called, it will call your code from that particular one. And then you'd want to make this instance editable so you can change the state of the door within the editor and runtime. So what this looks like in my current project is on door closed, I'm opening the door and then I'm removing the closed tag and then I'm doing all the necessary things that need to happen for the door to open and then on door open or I'm adding the closed tag and I am removing the open tag so every time this is called what state the door is currently in and then choose from this switch and here's how it currently works in my game so if you want more tips be sure to follow